Hello everybody, Mailworm here. Today we're going to make a quick video on installing Zenless Zone Zero onto your Steam Deck. Uh, Hoyo's new game is an absolute banger and it runs fantastic even on my LCD deck. There are a couple prerequisites that we're going to do. We're going to use two different applications, one to get the Hoyo launcher installed and the next to actually add Zenless Zone Zero to the deck in a way that will bypass all of the gobbledygook that's involved. <clears throat> also, before you begin, you'll want to decide where you would like the game to be installed. The game does not take up 110 gigabytes of space, but because of how the download and the unzipping happens, you will need 110 gigabytes of empty space in whichever location you want to have the game installed. So. For those of you that want to install it on the SD card or other type of external drive, if you have a hard drive attached to your dock, this is what you'll want to do to begin, is locate where you would like it. So here's our SD card, and I've made this folder called Hoyo here. Um, you cannot tell the launcher to go into the root of the SD card, so you'll have to make at least one folder for it. Once you've done that, that's all of the prep for the folders. The first program that we'll download is the Heroic Games Launcher, and this can be downloaded from the Discover Software Center here, this way. And you can just type, uh, if I can spell, <laughs> Heroic, and you'll see the Heroic Games Launcher. So go ahead and install that. This is what we're going to use to add the game to our Steam library once it's done being installed. The other is this non-Steam launchers executable here. This will have a link in the description to this GitHub project. And what we're going to get is this non-Steam launchers on Steam Deck. So scroll on down till you see the download button. You're going to click that. It's going to download this non-Steam Launchers. Take this file and move it onto your desktop. That's going to allow us to execute it properly. Once you've moved it on, you're going to launch it. Actually, I am going to move a fresh file over so you can see the pop-ups that happen. So if we go into our downloads, drag this onto our desktop. We're going to do copy or move, doesn't necessarily matter. And now this is on our desktop folder. And if I close this, you'll see it right here. We're going to select this. It's going to say this is going to start a program. We're going to allow that and hit continue. Now this is a wonderful application. It can actually install a lot of different things and when these install it also adds them as shortcuts to your Steam library. Uh, we're not super interested in getting um, Hoyo Play added to the Steam library because we're going to add the Zenlist directly, but we're going to check mark Hoyo Play here and hit OK. We're going to leave this blank. This is if you want um, websites added to the home page of your Steam Deck. So we're going to wait for this to download. It's going to download the installer for Hoyo Play, and then we'll get the pop-up for the actual installation process here shortly. Here we are. We're going to pretend like we've read the whole TOS right now. Now, if you are planning to install this on the internal storage of your deck, you can actually just go with the quick installation. If you want to dictate where it's being installed, be that on the internal storage or on the SD card or external like we said earlier. This is where we change that is under custom installation. Now we're going to have to find the full direct path to the folder that we've created earlier. So if we go into that and click up here in the top bar, we're going to see this full path. And we're going to commit this to memory because we're going to utilize it. So it's under run media deck 255. So we'll, we're going to remember that. We're going to change the installation location. So we'll start with the slash run media deck 255. And here is our Hoyo folder that we've created. 
So we'll go in, do Hoyo, and then we will continue and install. I've already installed it, so I'm just going to do continue and install. Now during this process, you'll probably get a pop-up to install the C++ redistributable. Um, you'll want to allow that through. Once it's done, it'll say completed. You'll click close. Then you'll be greeted with the finish and launch. So we're going to do finish and launch. What that's going to do is it's going to close Steam because it's going to try to add the Hoyo Play launcher to Steam. We're just going to remove that on the back end of things because it doesn't actually matter. I'm going to wait for Steam to load up just so I can close it. and head back in here. So you can actually install any of the Hoyo games here, but like I said, here's what we're really going for. Now, because I've already got it installed, let's see if we can't. So what you're gonna do is normally you'll see install. There we go. So you can just go ahead and click install and it will start doing the installation process. Let this cook. It takes a very long time. It's going to download it. It's going to verify it. It's going to install it. It's going to unpack it. Let it take its time. And then once it's done, you'll be greeted with the next screen. All right. And then eventually it will complete. It'll take its sweet time and you'll be able to start the game. But we're actually gonna go one step further to get it added into our Steam's libraries. So I'm going to pop into, we're gonna close this. And now we're gonna open our Heroic Games Launcher. So once we're in, <clears throat> we're going to manually add a game. We can call this whatever we would like. We're gonna leave it on Windows here. It looks like it actually, we by the name, it was able to find um, a PNG, which is very cool. Now, what we're gonna go ahead and do, is we're gonna select the executable for it, and it will be under where you've installed it. I've actually already um, installed it elsewhere, and I'm not gonna wait for it to happen again, so I'm just gonna go through. So when you're in the Hoyo folder, There'll be Hoyo Play, and now there'll be Games, Sunless Zone Zero, Game, and then here is our executable for that. We're going to select that. We're going to hit Finish. Here we are. Then what we're going to do is, I'll show that again. We're going to do the little settings cogs here, and I'm going to recommend Proton 8. seems to run the best right now. And this is under the Wine version, so we'll just select Proton 8. And then from here, we're actually going to right click. There should be an option. Actually, let's click into the game. There we go. Dot, dot, dot. Add to Steam. Boom. You'll see that added to Steam. So now the game should be in our Steam library. Now, if Steam was already open before, we need to close it and reopen it, in which case it looks like mine was. Let's close that. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to exit out of Steam. We're gonna relaunch it, and this is just to make sure that the game itself is actually added to our Steam libraries. Okay. Send the zone zero. There it is. So from here now, we're going to make sure that it really does work. And we're going to do that by returning to gaming mode. All right. And as we get into gaming mode, you'll see our Sunless Zone Zero is here. So we're going to go ahead and select it and launch. Now let this cook. It can take a fair bit of time to 
kick up the Hoyo launcher and get the actual game itself running, plus all of the different proton layers. So exercise some patience here. It can take um, a few minutes or so to actually get up and running for us. And there we are into the Hoyoverse. So we'll go ahead and let this go, load up all the way. Now you'll see that I'm already logged in. It will prompt you to log into your Hoyoverse account once you get um, loaded in for the first time. So we'll go ahead and play. And also that first launch can take some time because it's going to um, it's going to patch itself if there's any minor updates. It's going to do the shader process. So that first launch can take a fair amount of time, but just let it cook and exercise some patience with it. So we're in. We're going to hit play. And I'll show you a couple of the video settings that you can tweak if you want to really push that performance. Now I am connected to an external monitor, so I'm not hard locked to the 60 FPS right now. But here we are, we're in game. Looks like I was doing some hollow zeros. So in our settings, under graphics, you would do obviously uh, 1280 by 720 full screen. For the image quality, you can just set it to medium and let it go. Um, you can lock your FPS at 60 or you can utilize the Steam menu itself if you want to go down to say 45. Um, rendering at 0.8 can give you quite a performance boost. Um, shadows, I like shadows high because that's how I see if people are jumping in on me, but those can go to medium. FX quality medium, shading medium, character quality, leave that on high, environment, I like it on high. Um, I turn volumetric fog all the way to low and disable bloom. This doesn't um, affect performance, it's just a preference thing. My eyes are not camera lenses, please don't blind me. Um, and that's basically it as far as those settings go. We'll pop right back in. And here we are, we're in game. You're gonna get a little bit of hitches here and there if you want to just set everything as low as possible or lock your FPS to about 45 for the LCD. Uh, you can get a, a solid 60 on the OLED, however. So that's our, uh, our quick tutorial for that. I hope uh, everyone finds it helpful. I won't see you all in space for this one. I'll see you all in the verse.